Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Muslim Farm Bell. Thanks for stopping by. Today, this video is actually highly requested because I usually get these little DMs and messages. I am a mom, I am working with children, I am in school, dinner is always tough time. And the same thing for all us moms, we experience dinner time can be a little bit stressful time. So for our home, I wanna share it with you today. The few things that I do that I wanna share it with you today that makes my life so much easier is meal prep. I usually prep my veggies and fruits and things like that, bacon bread day and things like that. That makes my life so much easier. So today I wanna to take you along and share it with you. She pan meals are great and that's what i want to share it with you today you can prepare it the night before few days before and when you come home from school or work you can just put it straight into the oven so right now let's go ahead and start my first meal the easiest meal that sometimes when i didn't even prepare for before what i do let me show you what i have in the oven already I already put my beef strips into the oven, so while that's cooking, I'm just going to put some veggies together. Okay, let's put together quick dinner. Both of the beef strips are done. I'm just gonna let it cool down. I put together tomatoes and lettuce and some mayonnaise. I will also serve it with sauerkraut, some onions that we already canned it. You guys have seen that video. These things, when you do meal prep ahead, they come on handy. And then we made bread about a week ago, so that's what I'm gonna serve it with it. And here is my bread loaf ready, sourdough homemade. This bread loaf turned out so beautifully, look at that. So all I'm just gonna do is slice it and have it ready for the children and then they can serve themselves and if you have little ones you can just help them that is simple and easy dinner so here is a chicken dinner idea the kale and the thyme and basil all those herbs we rinsed it and put it in here i'm just gonna go ahead and blend it with some pepper and salt and fresh garlic add a little bit of water that's it nice the smell is amazing so fresh so for oil and using the beef strips fat so let's sprinkle on top instead of wasting it you know Nothing goes to waste around here. Break on some onions from the garden. That's it. We're just gonna go ahead and bake it. One thing that I love and appreciate gratitude, honestly, is the summer season. We have tons of spaghetti squash and all kinds of different squashes. So the summertime is one way that I also not do simple cooking, but also feed my family as cheap as possible. Like grabbing few squashes from the garden and that's what I will go ahead and serve it with the uh, chicken tonight. And since we have still some grease that is from the uh, beef 
strips, I thought, why not just use the same pan as well? So let's go ahead into the garden and get some squash. The chickens will love this. gave it a quick rinse the squashes and I'm just gonna put it upside down because this has a such a good grease and it will give such a flavor you know might even just take some of the grease and wrap on it into the oven Look at these beautiful colors. The squash is all done. Look at that golden. So beautiful. Let's get the chicken out. Honestly, gratitude. This smells amazing. Simple, healthy, and cheap way to eat. Bismillah. If you don't want sheep pan, whatever your family likes to do. One pot, instant pot, whatever. My husband put together this beef stew with bone broth and onions and everything. You have to see this is from the fridge. All the spices are in there. This will go straight into the oven and let it bake. Serve it with bread again, rice, quinoa, whatever you want. It's gonna be simple. Look at this goodness. Right after I take it out from the fridge, I let it sit there about 20 minutes, room temp, because it's kind of cold, and then I'll just go ahead and put it into the oven. Since I'm not standing in the kitchen for a long time, I decided to just go ahead and put quinoa together to serve with the uh, beef, the stew. That's it, few minutes it takes, and that's really it. Let's go ahead and put together the feet. Quinoa with meat and that's it.
Let's go ahead and get the meat out. It is golden. It is falling apart. Look at that. We have to taste this, right? Bismillah. Speechless, and I would say priceless. So healthy and so simple. You can even just take a, a dish, pour this meat with lots of tomatoes and onions and goodness and bone broth. That itself is honestly enough for a meal. And then if you add a little quinoa or a little bit of rice, it goes a long ways. It's perfect meal. And if you are Somali and you top it with banana, a little bit of lime or lemon, hot sauce, mm, 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 you are content, right Somalis out there? I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give the videos thumbs up. And thanks for stopping by. Have a beautiful, blessed day. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته